Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the checkboxes. So, let's begin. Let's first understand what are checkboxes and then we will see how we can automate those checkboxes. So, for that, I'm going here and using a website called demoqa.com and here you will need to navigate to forms here and here you will see a form and that form will actually contain multiple checkboxes so once it will get loaded we'll see a form here in this particular area so let me click on the form again yes so this is a student registration form and this hobbies are basically contains the checkboxes now checkboxes are those boxes where you can select the multiple options previously we were discussing about the drop down where we were able to select only one option from the available list right but here in this case you can select the multiple options so this is the functionality of the checkboxes now we need to automate this particular functionality here we need to check this one or uncheck this one so that we can automate this form right so let me go to the eclipse here and let me go here and let me create one class you need to go to the new then class and let me name it as automate check boxes you need to click on this blink static white mean this is the main method just click on finish let me copy some code from the previous example let me copy this one here and let me click on this one remove this particular text from here paste the code and now we need to provide the url so let me copy this one and let's go back to your eclipse here and we need to provide this form here so let me save this one and let's execute and see what happens so this form should be open successfully so it's loading and yes the form has been loaded successfully here right so let me go to the browser here and the first thing we need to do is that we need to identify the locator of these checkboxes so for example if i want to check this sports here so i need to click on this one then i need to click on inspect here and here you will see that let me go here and select this one from here so this is the label but we don't need a label here what we need is that we need this checkbox right so let me go to the browser actual browser and let me select this one right click on inspect here and here we need to go to the selectors hub and using the selector hub we would be selecting this option right so here is the different selectors available for this one and let me use the relative x path this time and let's go back and here what we need to do is that we need to do driver dot find element by dot x path and we need to provide the x path here and then we need to provide the terminator here so as a best practice what i'll do is that i will save this to a web element so web element and let me name it as checkbox equals to driver.find element right we will be importing this one and you know here i am using the small e that's why it is suggesting me to change to the web element so 
web element is with a capital E here. Now we have saved this one and now let's see what options we can perform on this particular element. So checkbox dot. So again, we can do a click here. We can get a text. We can get a size. We can get a tag name. So we have multiple options. So in order to simply check this one, we need to click on this one. That's it. That's a simple way to check this one, right? Let me put a thread dot sleep here. Thread dot sleep. And let me add a time for five seconds here. And we need to throw an exception here. Let me add this one. That's done. Now let me repeat the same thing here to uncheck this particular sports from the checkboxes, right? So this is what we need to do. Let me save this one and let's run this and see what happens. So it should first check the sports and then it should uncheck the sports as well. So you need to see this area here. So let's see what happens. It's loading and after some time it should check the sports. Yes, the sports has been checked. It will wait for the five seconds and after five seconds it will uncheck. So it is unchecked as well from here. Now let me close this browser here and this one here. And now uh, we can see what else we can do here with the checkboxes. So in terms of the checkboxes, checkbox dot so we can get the CSS value, we can get the attribute and we can get the size, we can get get text. Let's see what we get as a text. So in order to print that I'll be putting it in system dot out dot print ln and in print ln I am actually placing this one. So let me directly write it here. Check box dot get text and that's it. And let me save this one and let's run this and see what happens. Now ideally it should print the word sports but see what happens because we were using some other uh, locator we were using this locator but let's see what happens it got uh, checked and now it will unchecked and let's go to Eclipse and see what it prints so it has printed the text of the sports now if you want to assert this value we have already learned how we can assert uh, manually using if and else. Uh, let me go to this my login test here and let me show you how I did it in my previous tutorial. So simply I save those values, I got the value, save it in a string, then I created a string called expected value, then I asserted this value. So you can do in a simple way and assert the value. Right now, this is uh, uh, we have what we have learned, but in ideal cases, we would be using the proper assertions provided in either JUnit or TestNG, and we will assert the different values. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next tutorial.